uh, thanks for coming back to watch my third video. Um, this video, I am going to talk about movies that are my absolute favorite. Um, this is a condensed list because I love movies. Um, I am going to be talking a little bit about why I love the movies that I do, um, but not giving away too much detail because each movie will get its own list later on, or video, not list. <laughs> Sorry! Um, then I will be talking and giving you guys my ratings from 1 to 5. Um, of course, with my favorite movies, they're at least going to get a 4.9, if not a 5. Um, but also, please be sure to put your movie pleasures in the comments below. I will give them a watch either through Netflix or Hulu or watch clips on YouTube. So, um, but I might even give a little bit of my favorite parts or my favorite actors in the movies that I enjoy. Um, but I will go into more detail later on, as I said before. All right, here's the list. Okay, Twilight. <laughs> I enjoy all of the Twilight movies. Um, I know now that they are totally cheesy and people had issues with who they casted for Bella and Edward and everything, but I enjoy the movies because the love aspect, whether it's romantic between like Carlisle and Esme or Bella and Edward or if it's friendship um like Jacob and Bella or family which would be the entire Cullen clan or even Bella and Charlie and even though their relationship wasn't perfect um it was perfect for them um and then another one of my favorite movies is Gone with the Wind. Um, I like that movie for a bunch of different reasons, and I will go into reasons later on. But one of the main reasons is because that was my mom's favorite movie, and we watched it the day I found the day after I found out I was going to be a big sister. Um, and I love books or movies based off of Nicholas Sparks novels. Sorry. Um, probably one of my most favorites out of those is Walk to Remember with Shane West and Mandy Moore. But there's also The Notebook, which I love, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Reynolds. Or no, Gosling. Sorry. <laughs> This is, like, my third time trying to do this video today. Sorry, you guys. Um, then, uh, there's Dear John with Channing Tatum. Uh, I love that movie. It's fantastic. Um, there's The Last Song with Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Um, I relate a lot to... Uh, Mandy, or Mandy Moore, oh my gosh, sorry, Miley Cyrus's character, once when she loses her dad to cancer, I've been there, um, there's, uh, Safe Haven with Julianne Huff. um, I love that movie, I actually wrote a poem, uh, based off of that book and movie, um, there's, the Best of Me, uh, The Lucky One with Zac Efron, that's a really good one too. Um, the Longest Ride, which is probably one of my favorites. Um, there's many others that I haven't seen or I've seen and they're just not completely what I expected. Um, there's the Lord of the Rings series. Um, I have not watched The Hobbit yet, so I did not put that on the list. Um... The second Lord of the Rings movie has to be my favorite out of all three. Um, then The Rainmaker, 
which is based off of a novel by John Grisham of the same title. Um, my One of my favorite actors is in it, uh, Matt Damon. <coughs> and I'll talk more about Matt Damon later. And one of the reasons why he's my favorite actor. And you guys might kind of think it's a little weird, but whatever. <sighs> um, then Phantom of the Opera. Um, one of my favorite musicals. I have not seen the stage play, and I'm envious of the people who have. Um, but the movie is phenomenal. I love the music. I love the history. Um, and I'm a total buff for, like, French stuff, so. Um, and Romeo and Juliet, uh, the version with Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Um, I feel that that was the best adaptation to the book, or the play, rather. Um, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I watch that movie if I'm too tired to follow major plot lines. Uh, plus, John Heater is one of my favorite actors. Um, bring it on. All of them. Uh, my favorite has to be In It to Win It, though. They're down in Florida for a cheer camp, and it's just phenomenal. I find that one to be the most entertaining. The first one now I just find really cheesy. <laughs> um, was Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, first of all, Brad Pitt. Come on, ladies. You can't go wrong with Brad Pitt. Um, I also like the, like, action adventure aspect to it. Deep down, it's also a love story. Um, Into the Blue with Paul Walker and Jessica Alba. Uh, it's probably one of the only movies I've ever seen with Jessica Alba. Um, but it's one of my favorites with Paul Walker. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Um, that one might be a little hard for you guys to believe. Uh, that one's an interesting story. One of my friends from elementary school and junior high got me into Yu-Gi-Oh! And the two of us went to go see the movie when it came out. And it was something that we shared together. Um, all the Shrek movies. Uh, I preferred the second one because my favorite character got introduced, Puss in Boots. Um, I care at least for, uh, Shrek the Final Chapter. I think that they should have left it off with Shrek the Third. But, what are you gonna do? Um, 17 again. Zach Efron, Matthew Perry... <laughs> Leslie Mann movie's hilarious if I'm feeling down I watch that movie and it picks me right back up because it just makes me laugh so much um Charlie St. Cloud which is also based off of a book uh the book is phenomenal the movie is great another Zac Efron movie um I would definitely recommend it um then Scooby Doo 1 and 2 with Freddie Prince Jr. Sarah Michelle Gellar uh, Matthew Lillard and Linda Cardellini. Um, I definitely feel that those two movies should have been the only live action movies that they made for Sco the Scooby Doo series. Uh, the other ones where it was like they were in like high school or college or whatever it was, I felt that they were over pushing it a little bit. Um, then Bride Wars uh, with Anne Hathaway. Kate Hudson and Steve Howie from the show Reba, which I'll talk about later on. Um, I felt that it was just such a good TV or a good movie. Um, it was more of a definitely more of a comedy with a hint of romance. Um, I will go into more detail about the movie later on in its own video. Um, then there's On the Line. With Joey Fatone and Lance Bass. Um, it's one of my favorites because I was in love with Lance Bass out of NSYNC. Um, he was probably my first favorite out of the whole group. Um, even after he came out of the closet, even though it broke my heart because I was in love with him. Then <laughs> um, Crossroads. Uh, Britney Spears' movie that she did 
um, right around the time her third studio album came out. Um, I just loved the story. Um, I loved that they got Dan Aykroyd to play her dad in that movie. It was... I think it would have been a completely different movie if they would have chosen somebody else to play her dad. Um, and Titanic. Uh, I love that movie, not just because of the love story between Rose and Jack, but also the... I'm not totally sure how historic it was, but... I don't know there was history with that movie. Even though it was more about the love story, which I'm not exactly sure how accurate it is that those two actually were in love. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, mean Girls, probably one of my most favorite Lindsay Lohan movies. <coughs> There's many others that I en have enjoyed over the years, but I think girls, especially in high school can relate to there being a Regina George type. Like, the stereotypical popular girl who kind of runs the school, and you want to be liked by her and her group of friends, and so you try to do your best to fit in, and there are times when, if you do fit in, and they accept you, that you end up morphing your personality to fit in, and it, is it really worth it, ladies? Um, Remember Me. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite Robert Pattinson roles. Um, I like that they tied in uh, the events from 9-11. Um, especially for people who might have been too young to s remember 9-11, minus, you know, hearing about it at school or parents or... You know, watching, like, the yearly anniversary footage and, you know, people being like, oh, always remember 9-11. Um, I don't know, it just kind of sheds light for younger, like, early 20s, like, middle teens. Um, Zathura with Kristen Stewart. <laughs> was also in Twilight movies, along with Robert Pattinson from the last movie. Um, Dak Shepard, Josh Hutcherson, that movie is phenomenally funny. Um, if you like Jumanji, I think you would like Zathura. It's basically the same thing, but instead of like jungle stuff going on, it's outer space. Um, the Harry Potter movies, um, all of them are really good, um, but my favorites were Prisoner of Azkaban and Order of the Phoenix, uh, for many different reasons, um, I don't know, I just felt like the stories were better told in those two movies, um, not that the other ones were bad, um, Employee of the Month, another movie with Dax Shepard in it. Uh, Dane Cook, Jessica Simpson, uh, Andy Dick, the guy who played Pedro in Napoleon Dynamite. Um, it's a chick flick, but more so it's a comedy. Like, guys can watch it easily. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure most guys thought at the time Jessica Simpson was hot. Um... <laughs> I have a very special attachment with that movie, um, which I'll share later on, and probably in a couple different videos. Um, then Marley and Me with Jennifer Aniston and Owen Wilson. Um, that movie touches deep down in me because I know what it's like to lose a pet due to them being sick or whatever the case is. Um, but I, I don't know. I enjoyed the movie even though it makes me cry every time I watch it. Um, The Outsiders. I loved the book in junior high. 
I actually have a copy somewhere in my library. Um, but I remember seeing the movie in seventh grade, and even though I know that they left out a lot, it they kept the major parts of the book true to the movie, which I enjoyed. Um, the Bounty Hunter with Jennifer Aniston <laughs> and Gerard Butler. Um, funny movie. I, I watch that movie if I need a good laugh, basically. Um, John Tucker Must Die with Brittany Snow, Ashanti, Ariel Kebbell. That movie's phenomenal. Uh, basically if you're a girl and have ever been cheated on by a guy, you want to get payback. For some reason or other. Um, but it's phenomenal. Um, Hidalgo. I love that movie. It's based off of a true story. Um, and Viggo Mortensen plays the main character. Um, it's about horses. So if you love animals and stuff, definitely check it out. Um, it's a good movie about accepting who you are. <coughs> Um, 27 Dresses, uh, Katherine Heigl, I love that movie, uh, it's also got James Marsden in it, um, and a phenomenal cast besides just those two, um, the dresses for the movie were phenomenal, and it was kind of cool hearing the stories behind the dresses, and everything that the main character went through while wearing said dresses. Um, then for a couple movies from when I was younger, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jack with Robin Williams, Fran Drescher, J-Lo. Uh, the cast was phenomenal in that movie. Uh, basically, Robin Williams plays a 10-year-old but in a 40-year-old's body. Um, it's probably one of my most favorite movies. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, then The Little Rascals. Uh, that movie is hilarious. Uh, there's many famous people in that movie. Uh, there's Whoopi Goldberg, Donald Trump, uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley do a little guest appearance. Um, the kid who... One of the kids who hung out with Mary-Kate and Ashley's character, Michelle Tanner, on Full House is in it. Um, it's just a phenomenal movie. Uh, it's funny if you need, like, a silly little pick-me-up. Um, then Stick It. About competitive gymnastics with Jeff Bridges. Uh, that movie is phenomenal. It also has a very young Callan Lutz, who was also in the Twilight movies. Um... It's probably one of the funniest movies I've ever watched. <coughs> oh, sorry, you guys. Um, and then last but not least, and like I said, this is an edited list because this video would be like two hours long if I listed every movie, um, is Sing. Uh, first of all, I love the music in the movie. I totally saw... Matthew McConaughey as the koala. Um, my other favorite character was Johnny the gorilla. I liked the guy who did his voice. And it was actually him singing, too. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Taron Egerton from uh, the Kingsman series. Um, so, yeah. Those are my favorite movies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, please be sure to tell me what you guys enjoy watching as far as movies, and I'll give them a try. So then maybe we can find out if we have more things in common. So. All right, everybody. Uh, my fourth video, which hopefully I'll get better at putting videos out there. Um, I will be talking about my favorite books. Um, some of them have been turned into movies, obviously. Um, then, so you guys will get to know what I enjoy reading in my spare time, or what I am reading, or what I have read. 
Um, it'll also be a condensed version. Uh, it'll be my most favorite books. Um, but once again, feel free to comment on my videos. I love to hear from you guys. Um, don't forget, I will be doing an advice video later on. So kind of start messaging me with things that you need advice on so I can kind of get an idea of what to tell you guys. Um... So be sure to hit the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe, comment, um, please do not share my videos on social media, uh, in case you have noticed, I'm not even sharing my videos, I just tell you guys when I've uploaded them if you're not subscribed, um, but please continue to enjoy my videos and learn more about me and hopefully in the near future I will be doing videos with at least one of my best friends and you guys will kind of get to see what goes on when we hang out um so like I said hit the subscribe button thumbs up comments and all right, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be safe, have fun. Until next time, my loves. Bye.